Dear students, a very good afternoon to all of you. So today we will revise the basic rules of punctuations. Punctuations are there in order to make our statement more felt, to make it more felt, more vivid, and more clear. I mean clearer. That is the reason that we punctuate our sentences. This actually tells us what the purpose of the writer is. Suppose the same, same sentence, if you read it without punctuation, and if you read it with punctuation, the meanings could be different. So with your punctuation, you can make it clear, actually, what is the thing that you want to tell? What is the thing that you want to express? What is your mode of, uh, what is your mood, in which mood you are telling something? These are the things that, that actually tells us about the writer, the speaker, in what mood the speaker is telling the sentence or doing something. So here we will begin with comma. Now what is written there, when to use, there are certain bulletins which you can understand very easily before a conjunction, yes of course, and but not so far yet, not after it, before it. See, he frowned but she did not understand why she was worried. Frowned. First, she, he frowned, but then it was also said as an addition that this is actually not because he, in which mode, why did he frown? frown? Did he frown that uh, uh, he was angry or he was confused? In order to make it clear, we have written something after the uh, comma, that but she did not understand why she was worried. What happens after that in order to know it, it is written. After most introductory words, phrases or clauses, like after the noisy party, once upon a time, one day, like that, the neighbors complained. See, after the noisy party, the neighbors complained. So after the noisy party, this is the introductory word. So what happened after that? The neighbors complained. Yes. That's how. Before and after extra or it is written non-restrictive information included in a sentence, extra commas for extra information. Like my father, a, this is called noun in a position. A computer programmer, means who is a computer programmer? Walks late at night. Here the first comma means who, but it is omitted by making it a noun in a position. Then comes around transitional expressions. How is it done? The ending, however, is disappointing. The word however is a transitional word. Means what? It makes a, it creates a relation in between how the ending was and the result was disappointing. Means when the ending is uh, coming to an end or coming to something uh, or becoming something different than that of you have expected, then we use however. However is used to link two opposite ideas or sentences. Suppose the, uh, the readers might have expected something positive thing, affirmative thing, some optimistic thing, but actually it was not optimistic, it was a disappointing one. That is why it is written, however, is disappointing. And after however, we have, after and before, however, we have given comma, in order to make it clear that however is actually working as a bridge to link two ideas to opposite ideas. Then comes to separate three or more items in a series. How is it? They ordered eggs, bacon and potatoes. See, after eggs there is a comma, after bacon there is a comma and then it was written potatoes and. So we have already seen that, that before and also we can put comma. See, before and not after and. The first rule was like that, that before a conjunction. So here and is in conjunction and before it we have used comma. Then between coordinate, evaluate, adjectives. How to do it? We ate a delicious, well prepared and inexpensive meal. See, coordinate, evaluative, adjectives. How they, how was the meal? It was delicious, it was well prepared and at the same time it was inexpensive. That's why we have used these commas. After a verb that introduces a quote, quotation, yes of course, like 
you call it direct speech we have written it we have learned it direct speech so there also before the direct speech begins before the sentence within inverted comma begins we put a comma in order to show that the next thing is going to be something different now it is also written that when not to use see when not to use yes of course when to use it is very easy to find out but when not to use that will show and teach you how to use it properly see to separate a verb from its subject you don't need to put a comma like interviewing so many women in the united states help the researcher understand the american dream see do you think that it is needed no you don't need to write this comma after the united states because this is the interviewing so many women in the inter uh, united states helped means what helped this interview helped this is the same subject and helped denotes the verb it is actually linked with the subject so you no need to uh, give any comma before the verb that qualifies actually the subject within a compound structure when the second part of the compound is not an independent clause see independent clause means it is a group of words that can express its meaning itself without any other's help that is called independent clause later you will learn it let me give you an example suppose i am telling you this is suman sir who is dangerous so if you say this is suman sir it can express its meaning easily without anyone's help but if you cover up that part and if you say who is a dangerous now who is a dangerous it is not clear so who is dangerous this part can only become uh, understandable only when you are adding this part to suman this is suman sir so without this is suman sir there is no meaning of the part who is a dangerous person but if you put this is suman sir who is a dangerous person then only you can make sense of it so these are called independent clause this is suman sir is an independent clause who is a dangerous person is an dependent clause so before independent clause we don't need to put any comma uh, amy to amy ten has written novels and adapted them for the screen so though we have read in the beginning that before conjunction you can put comma but if this structure is there that an independent clause is preceding and then you need not write the commas see amiton has written novels if you strike out the part and adapted them for the screen then only this part amiton has written novels this part can express its meaning itself because it is an independent clause you do not need to write comma after it though you are joining it with a conjunction that is and and there is a provision that you can give comma before and but still it is not possible here because before and the group of sentences you can find there it can express its meaning itself so you don't need to give comma after a coordinating conjunction that connects two sentences see comma goes only before conjunction comma goes only before conjunction see the joy luck club is supposed to be good but i missed it when it came to my local uh, local theater see but i missed it so what did you miss this is the same joy luck club that you have missed so what was written there coordinating conjunction so you, this is something is supposed to be good and something you have missed these two actions are joined by but which is a coordinative conjunction so you don't need to write comma before or after it especially after it generally we have learned in the beginning that after but we seldom give comma and here is one of the reasons that where we do not use it to connect two independent clauses when no coordinating conjunction is present see anitom amitom has written novels they have been adapted for big screen so you don't need to write comma there because these are the same novels that have been used to uh, uh, that have been adapted for the big screen to separate independent clause from a following dependent clause introduced by after before because if since unless until or when 
See when it happens? The test results were good because all the students had studied in groups. So there are two actions. One is the test results were good. Another action is the students studied in groups. So the first one is the result of the next one. So when cause effect relation is there, we use because or as or therefore and especially in case of because you don't need to write any comma because by saying because you are actually explaining the matter which has been said earlier. So you don't need to give comma there also. After this you read very carefully and after that we will uh, study what happens and we will study more regarding punctuations and after that we will start capitalization of words. Thank you very much students, we will meet again.